Whoa, what is up everybody? I am Crypto at the Dipto. If you are new here, welcome to my channel where I, dis uh, bleh, where I discuss crypto, entertainment, crypto news, and anything that is correlated to crypto. So today I'm going to just jump right into it. Um, I'm going to be discussing for the people that are new to crypto, if you are just getting in, what you should be doing, and how my portfolio would look if it was 2023. So let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so what you wanna do is, is, if you're new to crypto first, you wanna just take action. You just, just jump straight into it. It's the only way you're gonna get your feet wet, okay? So don't be scared about trying to buy a coin. Don't try to time a coin. Just because you could go on the charts and you can look and you say, oh, to yourself, oh, it's kinda high, I don't know if I should buy, I don't know, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Just put $100 into Ethereum and let it sit there. You know, obviously you're gonna have to deal with some emotions when it goes up, when it goes down. Just put $100 in and let it sit there, okay? You cannot time the market. I've said it a million times and I'll say it again till I'm blue in the face. You cannot time the market, you just can't. So you're better off picking a coin that you like, doing your research, putting $100 in and just letting it sit there. In 2023, we are in a weird time where the crypto market is. We also have a halving coming up, which will affect the price of Bitcoin, altcoins, and all the coins in one. You know, so you have to be vigilant, always do your own research, pick a coin, put money into it, and there you go. Um, you have to understand the coin that you're investing in, you know, do research, look at the CEOs, look at the Twitters, just understand the coin that you're investing in. Um, so this is basically the portfolio that I would have if I wanted to stay on the medium side of being safe and medium reward, okay? So I put together about 10 coins that you can use as a standard on your own. Like always, I'm not a financial advisor. These are just my opinions, but I'm gonna give you some that I've done research on and maybe you can use them. Do this information as you will. So these are just 10 that I consider safe. I'll put money into them and I'll let it sit and I'll let the money roll on in, all right? So the first one is HBAR. Second, I have XRP. Third, I have Fetch.ai. Fourth, I have Gala. Fifth, I have Mask, which is M-A-S-Q. Then I have IMX, which is Immutable X. Next, I have Filecoin, ticker symbol F-I-L. Next, I have Cardano, ticker symbol A-D-A. Then I have Matic, which is Polygon. And last but not least, I have XDC. Now, why did I choose these 10 coins and these 10 crypto projects for you guys, gals, pickles, pineapples, and cucumbers? It is because it is safe to medium risk, medium reward, okay? So if you put money into this, I can almost guarantee you that you will be in the profits if you hold a year from now. I never wanna say 100% because nothing is 100% in life, especially in the crypto market, okay? So this is a safe bet. This would be a good portfolio to have. You can invest in it and you can let it sit there. Like I said, invest into it and dollar cost average. That is the best way and that is what I would do if I was getting into crypto in 2023. Um, you know, don't sell after one month because you've seen your coin go down. You know, you have to think long term. A lot of people do not think long term when it comes to crypto and that is a huge mistake, okay? A lot of people do not take profit. If you put $100 into Ethereum now and in a year, you're up 800, at least take out your initial investment. If it was me personally, I put in 100, now I'm up 800, I have $900, I would take out 500 and put it into another project. You can rinse and repeat and keep doing that and that's how you will come to six figures, five figures, four figures. Whatever position you are in, I do not know, but if you do the things that I tell you, you have a great chance at succeeding in the crypto space. So now, the ones that I gave you, right? I would say pretty safe to medium risk, medium reward. But if three of them die, you still have the other seven that you can potentially make money on. If all eight suck, you have two that you can make profits on. You know, this is a lot better than playing the lotto or gambling. I know a lot of people like to compare crypto to gambling, but gambling, the odds usually aren't in your favor. I think, whatever. Um, do not be emotional. 
You cannot invest with your emotions. You put in $100, it goes down to 80. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. You know why? Because you're looking at the small picture. You have to zoom out and look at the bigger picture. If I bought Ethereum at $1, and I held it and I watched it go up. It went up to a thousand. Then it went down back to thirty dollars. That sucks because I could have took out at a thousand. But guess what? I put in a dollar. If it's back down to twenty, I'm still up. You have to focus on the long picture. Focus two years from now. That's where you could be sitting on a life changing amount of money right now and you wouldn't even know because the not enough time has passed. You need the time to pass. Also, another thing that a lot of people tend to forget, it is okay to take money out at a loss. It is. It is okay. If you put in $100 and it's going down, you're watching it every day, 90, 80, 70, 60, you know, take that loss and take it on the chin, you know, because obviously it's going down and down and down. So stop it at 70 and put it into a stable coin. It's a loss. You win some, you lose some. You're not going to win every single crypto that you put money into. That's just how it is. Unless you have some godly powers that I do not know about. And if you do, my name is Crypto at the Dipto and you can DM me. Thank you very much. Okay? So it is okay to take money out on a loss. Take profit. Do not invest with emotions. I've said this multiple times in my videos and I have to keep saying it because a lot of people do not do it. Okay? I promise you the next video... I won't repeat myself, but I probably will. Okay. So with that being said, if I was getting into crypto in 2023, these are the things I would do. You know, I would also buy a cold wallet to keep my money in that. Take your money off of exchanges. Use crypto Twitter. Use coin market cap. Download some good apps. I'm in New York. Reg regulations suck, but that's a story for another day. Okay. So you have to be smart. Do not invest with emotions take profit and do not invest with emotions. And I'm gonna leave you with one book that I absolutely love with one little passage from the book. It is by Jeff Luke and it is called Stock Market Intelligence. And this is a phenomenal thing to go by. And I use this when I'm looking into a crypto project and I highly suggest everyone does the same. So when you turn to the first page, right? I'm always doing things I can't do. That's how I get to do them. Picasso. Huh, who would have known? That's my boy Picasso. So right here, it's going to tell you right in the beginning, getting started part one. For those of you that do not have this book, I highly recommend it. Okay. So basically what he talks about in this book is accelerating your learning. And he uses something called a POMS system. P-A-L-M-S, which stands for profitable, adaptable, loyal, moat, and sensible. Use this for the rest of your life. And I guarantee you, it will help you tenfold. So basically, what is this? And if you'd like to pause on the book, take a screenshot, get your pencils, I highly recommend it, right? Here are the five questions. Is the comp When you're looking at a company or stock or crypto, this is what you want to ask yourself. Profitable? Is the company profitable? A. Is the company adapting to changing technology? L. Does the company have loyal customers? M. Does the company possess a durable competitive advantage? And finally, for S, is the stock selling at a price that makes sense? Okay, so if you can't remember that, they give you a little diagram, basically right here, where you can use your hand. Palms. Profitable, adaptable, a loyal customer, moat to protect, and sensible price. Okay? This is an amazing thing to use. It is simple, it is to the point, but it gets the work done. I'll leave you with this. Stock Market Intelligence by Jeff Luke. My name is Crypto at the Dipto. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming to my channel. If you are new here, you can subscribe to me on Clapper, Twitter, Instagram, Snap. No, I don't have Snapchat. Um, but yes, it's the same name and the same game. Thank you for coming to my channel. I appreciate every single one of you. Have a great day. And I'll be back with more videos soon. I'm going to be doing an in-depth look at a certain crypto project. I already did one for Floki. And I'm trying to decide my next one. So if you want to comment down below, maybe one that you like, or maybe one that you'd like to, me to analyze, dissect, and jump into, I would highly appreciate that. But like always, have a great day, stay blessed, and get your money up, not your funny up. Pew.